Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will show you how to use image masks in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. Image masks are found both in the image element and on the background tabs of the container element. While they are very similar, they are used in different ways for each element. Let's have a look at how they work. Let's start with containers. I'm on the Avada Corporation pre-built here, and on the home page we can see the top container has a lot going on. If I just edit the container and head to the background tab, we can see there's a gradient applied, as well as a background image. And if I move to the last tab here, this is the mask tab, where you can apply an SVG mask. There are a range of preset masks to choose from, and you can even upload your own custom mask. Check the various presets to find one that works with your particular container. But in this case, let's stick with mask 15 here. This gives the initial shape for the mask, but there are lots of options for tweaking. The first option after choosing a mask is mask color. Depending on the mask you select, some masks, like this one, also have an option for an accent color. With both color and accent color, you can of course apply a global color or a hexadecimal value. Here, colors 7 and 6 have been used. The next option is called Mask Style. And here you can invert the mask if you like, as has been done here. The option below this allows you to control the opacity of the mask. If I bring the slider down a bit, you can see the image starts to show through under the mask. You can also flip the mask both vertically and horizontally, or both as has been done here. Finally, you can set a blend mode for the mask if you want. Very powerful stuff indeed. In conjunction with the other background options, the mask options can work to create unique and creative containers. So now let's look at masks in the image element. I'll just come down to this image and edit it and head to the design tab. The first thing to note is that we have a different collection of masks here. As with the image element, the mask is intended to work on its own to reshape the image. Again, there is also a custom option to allow you to upload your own mask, but I'll just try a few of these out. I think Mask 8 would be a good fit here. Once you have selected the mask, there is an option for Mask Size. The possible selections here are Fit, Fill or Custom. Fit is the default and allows the full mask to display as large as possible, while at the same time making sure the full mask stays within the boundaries of the image. Fill, however, will make the mask as big as possible, so either the left, right or top bottom of the mask will get cut off at the boundary of the image, depending on whether the image is landscape or portrait. Custom triggers a new option called Custom Size, which allows you to specify a size for the mask. Here I think I'd just choose Fill. Under this is an option called Mask Position. With Fill selected, this won't do anything as the mask is already filling the column. But with larger images and different settings, you can use this to determine where the mask is set on the image. Mask Repeat is the last of the specific mask options, and again this won't work in this situation. If I just come back and choose Custom as the mask size, and set it to 60%, we can now see how the mask position options move the mask over various parts of the image, and how the repeat options change the way the mask is used on the image. Of course, for an image like this, I wouldn't choose something like this, so let's go back to how I had it. OK, that's image masks in Nevada. You can use image masks in conjunction with a container background image or directly on an image with the image element. Try them out. Experimenting is the best way to learn. OK, this concludes our video on how to use image masks in Nevada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Nevada.